we're doing some Viking shenanigans here. Crusader Kings 2. I could think of no better person to play as than Hastine of Retz. I've got a strategy for playing as Hastine. First thing we do, divorce the wife. Second thing we do, declare war on the Canaries. They're not doing so hot down here. Hastine has decided he needs a good vacation spot. So that's why we're here. And boom. We got the Canaries. We're gonna make it our capital. Now, it's where the Viking shenanigans truly begin. Be prepared. And now we are invading. For glory! For Odin! This song, if you ever play anywhere even remotely near here, you will hear this song over and over again. I love this song. I think it's a phenomenal song. Oh, we got his wife. Oh, we got all of his wives. Ooh. Oh. So the only thing I would advise you, should you seek to do this yourself, if they're at war with anyone, and any one of those people occupy any of their territory, you won't get that when it's over. Okay, so if you see here, none of his provinces are occupied by anybody. So, when we peace out here. Ooh, baby. Yeah, so we won. And now you're probably thinking, what's next for Hasty? We will convert to African. Bam. Gonna make the kingdom. So in one lifetime, we've become a king down here in Africa. Created our country. And now we must turn our attention to matters of faith. So in order to reform the African religion, we gotta get three holy sites. This is where they all are, except for one, which is right here. This province, this is a, it's kinda cool. Let me show you something. African holy site. I'm going to kill these guys now. So now we gotta get two more. We gotta get some more holy sites. <laughs> this is a sort of interesting group of people we've assembled here. Now we gotta go deep into the dark heart of the continent. Who knows what we might find there. We get this lovely CB. Force vassalization. Yeah, boy. Alright, so now we just need to conquer this guy. This guy hates us. This guy's about to hate us. And now can reform our religion. So what kind of religion will African be? So I've been thinking about this, I've been thinking about this. I say we go proselytizing, we go meritocracy, and then we go stability, tip war. So it'll be a stable realm intent on proselytizing. I've never done one like this before because this is kind of boring. Normally I like to do bloodthirsty just because bloodthirsty is so much fun. Or just can I do this? It's a little boring, it's a little bland. What can you do? For the ancestors. So now look at us. Grand Saltig Hastine of Reds. And when I played this, I, I formed the Empire of Mali and I tried to hold all this together. Didn't go well. Didn't go well whatsoever. Not at all. So what we're gonna do. Although it pains me. Is these guys down here, we're gonna grant them independence. Because they're tribal. Until we have the money to make them no longer tribal, they're just a hassle to deal with. They're not worth it. We want to leave this kingdom uh, better than we found it for our child. Our child, who I forgot to rename, Prince Ragnar. Oh my god, look at this son! Have you ever seen a better character? I don't think this guy could have turned out any better even if I tried. Let's, let's get him a wife. Oh yeah, so you also have this. So we can spin piety to improve one of his attributes. Oh, that's amazing. That's so good, actually. Oh, he's a genius. We're 
do political figures. You will not be Saybunder. It'll be Henry Kissinger. Ooh! A natural death thing. Now we're Ragnar. What? Oh no. What the hell just happened? Suspicious circumstances? What? I don't know how our guy died. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, whatever. We're Henry Kissinger. Let's go. Primogeniture. Let's go. Magnetic primogeniture. Okay. And what will we do as this character? Well, it's not... We're gonna have a kid. That's, that's the first and foremost. Ah! A son! He finally had a son. Sean... F. Kennedy. What? What? Come on. How? What? Who? Who would have killed me? At least we'll get to be magnetic, cognetic quickly, I guess. Dude, who is killing me? There's people in my country who just keep on killing me over and over. We can actually win this. Ironic how long JFK is living. <laughs> Henry Kissinger Johnson? <laughs> nah, you're not Henry Kissinger. You're Jacques Chirac. <laughs> no! Don't kill Jacques Chirac. <laughs> Look at all these people we're capturing. The plague? We got the plague. Dude. There are Satanists in my country. I'm dead. Are you kidding me? That's such bullshit. This is such bullshit. I don't know what is happening. It, like, I swear to God, there are Satanists in my country trying to kill me over and over again. This is their only goal. seconds without getting killed by my own people. This is such bullshit, man. I mean, this has been brutal. This has been brutal, man. We're like, only like 50 years into the game and we've played one, two, three, four, five characters? Jeez. Like, it's all getting a bit silly now, isn't it? He looks like a guy named Jacques Chirac, though. Let's let's be fair. All right. No, you're not Heising. You're Deng Xiaoping. Deng Xiaoping. Yeah, we got a son. We got a Ragnar Lothbrok son. I'm just scrolling down a list of uh, the famous people, 20th century political leaders here. He's this guy is number 46, Vladimir Lenin. I think that's a little unfair to him, but, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, the ghost. <laughs> oh, the ghost. <laughs> an inf... He died of an infected wound? Are you kidding me? of Tangiers. Gopala. Sassanid. Oh wait, we... <laughs> the last of the Sassanids. Woodrow Wilson. Alright. <laughs> what? Alright, listen. Fellas. Listen. I love you guys. You're my brothers. You're my sisters. I don't want all of you to die, okay? Are you kidding me? 
might be reaching that point where we need to forward Empire title. Oh my god, again? Again. Oh man. That's brutal. Sucks. So it looks like we're incapable here, and a pro tip for you guys is, uh, if you're incapable and you're a pagan, you can worship the ancestors. Let's not worship, wait for a long and healthy life. And you can sacrifice your eye and make you severely wounded. And then you'll die. Yeah? Come on. Kill me. Come on. Please. <laughs> no, come on. Well, that worked out surprisingly well, all things considered. Dude, that's insane. Oh my god. This guy! This poor guy! He's been through so much. Dude, that's not victorious. Incest. Oh god. Oh god, just please, just please, just 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 hold on. All of you. Just hold on. Oh finally. All of the pain and finally. We could betroth her to uh Sun Yat Sen. And then bam, Ashina blood. In addition to Sasanian blood. Oof. Bam, there we go. Okay. Now it's time to reorganize things a little bit around here, huh? Bruh, what? He made the Canon Bornu Empire. I don't see how we're gonna beat this guy. <laughs> no, we do not want to play as Winter Wilson, we want to play Sun Yat Sen. Disturbed person, Charles de Gaulle's known the Lance is a raving madman. So true. Now we are Oofdir. And we're gonna make a rich life for our father. It's too, too good. Not with this character. A scurvy. Well then, I thought I'd give you guys a quick wrap up of sort of where we are. Uh, right before I quit, I went ahead and took over Alger. We started out as Hasty Navrets. We lived to uh, pretty old, 65. Then we, <laughs> then we lived to 23 and 21 and 22 and 25. I, this is when I think the Satanists were in charge of my country. Another 25. And then we started living a little bit longer. Charles de Gaulle. Char this is one of the craziest Crusader Kings 2 characters I've had easily. Uh, he got cancer and the doctor snipped his balls off. And then he got syphilis. And the doctor cured him of syphilis but then made him a lunatic. Has some of the worst stats of any character I've ever played in Crusader Kings 2. But ended up becoming the Emperor of Mali. Uh, something that I didn't really show as I was playing the game but is sort of important is the bloodlines. I was able to get these three, um, and I think a fourth, yeah, a fourth in our wife, which is pretty cool. There are a few reasons why you get bloodlines. Personal combat, uh, prestige, and then these bonuses that they give you. So like Ragnar Lothbrok's bloodline is one of the best in the game, genuinely, because 
if you are able to raid, it lets you get Viking traits. And uh, Viking traits are just great. Look, uh, so Charles de Gaulle became a pirate, which gives you prestige, martial, combat ability, and just a bunch of bonuses. So that's pretty cool, you know. But I think we did a we had a good little game here. Is, I think this was sufficient uh, Viking shenanigans, I would say. Oh yeah, poor old Woodrow Wilson died an inbred freak. Yeah, the map looks pretty normal. You know, this is about what you expect in late game except for this. If I were to continue, which you guys can tell me in the comments if you want me to continue, we need to deal with the Tulipas. This is our enemy numero uno. We would want to destabilize their realm, kill them, you know, everything we need to do. Or, alternatively, we could come over here to uh, Hispania, try and conquer Hispania. I had a lot of fun in this game, and if you guys want me to continue it, I'd be happy to. Uh, but yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do, do all that fun stuff, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. See ya.